Alright everyone, this is Video Game Lover here, and I want to make this video because I want to ask everyone this question who has followed Uzumaki. Was Uzumaki an anime that was so bad, but it was good? So let me explain. I did a video about Uzumaki a few weeks ago on how bad the animation quality was of episode 2. The first episode was met with a lot of praise. I liked it. A lot of people did. It was bizarre. It was weird. But the animation looked good. It was unique. Episode 2 came along and it ruined the whole damn thing. The animation drop was incredibly noticeable. Then you had, um, what was it? Um, the pacing. The pacing was super fast. It just didn't make any sense. I'll be honest. Episode 3 was okay. It still had some animation gaps, but at least it wasn't that bad. But man, the fourth and final episode. I want y'all to see this. This is one of the funniest things I have ever saw. When this happened, I was laughing so hard the moment I was crying. Watch this. There is literally no animation. There's no animation. Where's the animation? He's just falling in a straight line. Not, even in Mortal Kombat 4's Game Over had more animation than this. And that's a video game. Like, what am I looking at? So, like... I'm going to, because I know J.J. Starwin already did his video saying that it was a terrible anime, but I can't help but just laugh at this anime. Like, it was so bad, but I had a good time watching it because it's just so unintentionally hilarious. And it's really rare to get this nowadays in anime, but I know it was not, in, it was not intentional. It wasn't like My Dear Friend Nogotama was meant to be a bad anime. But here, it was bad because it was so piss for animation, horde pacing. It was just a bad adaptation. So, I know some people are going to say, well, it's still a bad anime. Yeah, but it's so bad that it was kind of enjoyable in a way. Like, let me give you an example of a so bad that it was bad. Gibiati. I thought Gibiati was one of the worst animes I have ever saw. It was so bad, I couldn't finish the first episode. I got to 12 minutes in of episode 1, I couldn't do it. I was looking forward to it because it was like a samurai anime, and my god, it was the worst thing I ever saw. Then you had uh, Tesla Note, X-Arm, those are really bad animes, but man. Uzumaki was a bad anime. But was it as bad, like, it's so bad it's unwatchable, or it's so bad that it's good? That's the whole point in this video, and, like, the discussion that I wanted to make for y'all. Let me know what you guys think. Was Uzumaki so bad that it was actually good? Like, like, I'm not saying it's good, but so bad that it was actually funny. That's what I'm trying to say. Um... But I still stand what I say about Adult Swim. These sons of bitches, their anime license need to be revoked. And what's horrible is that they have another anime coming. Uh, I think it's called Lazarus. And it's made by Studio Mappa and the creator of Cowboy Bebop. Knowing these sons of bitches, they're going to fuck this up. It's just truly amazing. Like, how do they do this? They... Make all these animes, and with the exception of the Shenmue anime, they all ended up being shit. Fena started good, ended terribly. Ninja Kamui started good, ended terribly. Now, uh, see the complex. I didn't like that anime at all. And now Uzumaki had a good first episode, and this was the end result right here. Unbelievable, man. I don't know, but I will say this right now. I don't know what's worse. This anime's animation or Blue Lock's animation? Because holy shit, Blue Lock has gotten worse since I last talked about it.
So, man, I don't know what to say. Let me know what you guys say. Was Uzumaki a so bad that it was good anime? Let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you guys later. Video Game Lord for the 8, sign out. Peace.